Well, welcome back, YouTube. This is your host, Poppy Maximus, and I'm here with our top five EDC items. These are items that I think you should really carry on your person at all times or close to all times. I'm really not into uh, carrying everything in the kitchen sink on me, just what I really need. Much more about probability than possibilities. Uh, just because it might happen, I'm not going to carry it, but I do carry some key things that are much more probable that I'll need them. Um, one of the things I don't do, you know, I have, a, I have a car, I have a truck that is always around me, so really key things I have in a, in a truck bag. I've got plenty of items in there, so um, I don't need to carry everything with me because I can always go to my truck bag if necessary. So, so saying that, let's get started with our top five EDC items to carry. So coming in at number five, I believe everyone should carry a good flashlight. Obviously, you know, they're useful for, for lighting up things. I'm using my flashlight every day, either looking for something that rolled underneath the car or at night trying to light up something, going for a walk at night or a jog, seeing what's out there, looking at the animals, looking at me. Um, there's a lot of good lights out there. I'm really not here to tell you what kind of flashlight to buy. Um, people love the old light, it seems. People love stream lights. You can go with the really tactical, cool, like the Streamlight Sidewinder, uh, which you kind of, again, you can put that on your helmet or attach it to your vest if you need be. Um, I kind of like the Phoenix lights. Uh, I started out with the Phoenix PD35. Great flashlight. It was like a thousand lumens to uh, CR123 batteries or that 18650 battery. Um, but it was a really good flashlight. Works well. Programmable. Uh, I upgraded to the, the Phoenix PD36 TAC which was really nice because that included the USB-C charging on board, so I could just keep it charged. Uh, it's got a giant battery, I think a 5,000 amp lithium battery, or a 5,000 milliamp lithium battery, so it allows me to charge it right in the vehicle if I need to, or charge it anywhere else with a USB-C cable, and I'm good to go. 3,000 lumens, lights up the world, so uh, really good flashlight, but I think you need to have some sort of good light with you at almost all times. So at, coming in at number five is a good flashlight. And coming in at number four is a good solid folding knife. I normally say a folding knife is a good carry knife. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend most people carry a fixed blade, but there are some people out there that can carry a fixed blade. But I would say it minimally carry a good folding knife. Uh, there's a lot of good folding knives out there as well, from Benchmade to Kershaw, Kershaw to CKRT to SOG. Um, and so you kind of have your choice out there. I've shown my kind of folding knives um, in previous videos. Uh, I really kind of have different missions. If I'm out fishing, if I'm out, uh, you know, with some kids, I want to give them something out of camping, and if we're out camping, and so I have different ones. But currently, my my go-to everyday folder is the Sog Seal XR serrated version. Great knife, a little bit on the larger side, but I, I love it. It's a it's one of those, you know, a true duty knife that really gets in there and gets things done. Uh, there's not much you can't do with that knife, so um, that's the one I carry every day, and it's really not that heavy. And so um, at number four, I say you got to carry a good, solid uh, knife with you. And coming in at number three, I believe you have to have a very good tactical watch on your wrist. Um, really talking about tactical now. These watches nowadays, a smart watch, but has a lot of functions. Um, the old go-to used to be the old Luminix, and they're not old, but they're good watches. Luminix Dive Watch, uh, Navy Seal Watch, that was a really good, solid watch. But nowadays, there's a lot of good choices for some smarter, more tactical watches. Um, you got stuff like the Suunto uh, watch, which is, a, which is a great watch. You've got the Casio G-Shock series. Um, when I say tactical, I mean things that have, like, you know, the ABCs, altimeter, altimeter barometer, compass, uh, have different modes, maybe even some fitness modes uh, can, can interface with your uh, with your phone, GPS modes, things of that nature that really can provide some good information while you're out in the field or out and about. So uh, a good smart watch I think is really key. Um, I personally right now, uh, my EDC watch is the Garmin Tactics uh, Delta. Outstanding watch, does everything and then some more than you'll ever want to do. Obviously, it has the ABCs, GPS, waypoints, all kinds of different missions, tactical. Um, you can even put it in stealth mode so that you can hide your, your signal if you need to very quickly. Um, it's got the fitness modes, and most importantly, it's got, you know, like 4,000 golf courses or something like that built into it so I can go golfing anywhere in the world. So really a solid, solid watch. Um, 
but nowadays it's really no reason not to be without a good solid smartwatch and that'll be coming in at number three for us. All right, that brings us to number two on our EDC items list. And at number two, it's some sort of self-defense tool. And what I mean by tool, yeah, I have lots of firearms. So I have lots of different firearms at EDC, um, depending on what I'm wearing, the weather, the type of season. Um, and so, of course, you could carry a firearm. But I mean, even nowadays, I, I tend to carry more than just a firearm. And so, uh, you know, I really enjoy OC Spray. I think OC Spray is one of the... Um, the most underrated tools you can carry for self-defense. It actually still gives you a little bit of range where, you know, firearm is obviously a much longer range, much deadlier weapon, but OC spray can be much, can be very effective, uh, even at a little bit of a range. Um, I've definitely used my OC spray more times, you know, countless more times than I have a firearm. Um, the OC spray really is useful in times where, you know, as a, uh, as I heard before, somewhere between a gun and a harsh word, right? Where you just need to back somebody off of you. So the OC spray, uh, I, I like a lot as well. On top of OC spray, I, I tend to carry with me a lot of times a collapsible baton, some sort of baton like an ASP or something to that effect. Uh, they're really good, especially if you've trained on them and you know how to use them. They work well against uh, you know animals. They work well against um, people. You just got to be very careful. You know, we avoid the heads and things like that. But they can be a, a kind of a difference maker when you whip out a baton and and expand it and let somebody know that you're serious and to back off, um, especially if you're well trained. So um, coming at number two is, is is some sort of self defense tool. I would definitely never leave home without something. I don't always carry a firearm, but I always have something on my person. So again, at number two is a good self-defense tool. Okay, it's that time on our list where we talk about kind of the some honorable mentions of a few items that didn't quite make my list. Topping the honorable mention items would be some sort of first aid or IFAC kit. Um, very important, I understand the importance of, of first aid kits. Uh, I understand the importance of an IFAC. I just tend not to carry one on me during an everyday situation, um, I just don't find the need for it every day on my person. Uh, like I said earlier, I, you know, I have a vehicle, a truck vehicle. I have a, an IFAC and a full blowout kit in my vehicle. Uh, usually I'm around my vehicle. I have used those kits before at accident sites, things of that nature. I've used it plenty of times, uh, all kinds of ways. If I'm at the range or at a class or somewhere where, you know, kind of more in a professional capacity with my firearm, on, of course, I'm always have a tourniquet or a and or an IFAC on my body. But as a as a rule of thumb, I usually don't carry one on me. I just don't find the probability again of of using it on from on my body outweighs the possibility. So, um, so kind of give an honorable mention to an IFAC slash first aid kit. The other thing I see a lot of people make decide to carry uh, would be a some sort of a multi tool, which I can understand that. Um, it may even take the place of a, of, a, of a good pocket knife, a folding knife. And multi-tools are great. I love them as well. Um, I just don't carry them as much. Uh, there's usually, you know, they're heavy, a little heavier, a little more weight, and just not what I really want to carry around every day. But definitely got some in my vehicle. Um, and so if I need one, I can always go grab one out of my, my vehicle. So coming back with honorable mentions are an IFAT kit, a first aid kit, and or a multi-tool. Okay, and here we are at number one on our EDC items list. And for me, that has to be comms or communications. Uh, this is the information age, right? Communication is critical. If we look at something you use every day, we said everyday carry. Something you use every day is some sort of communication device, right? Your cell phone or some other way of communicating with people, whether it be on the internet or, or what have you. And to me, communication is vital. You can have all the tools on your body and you'll be an army of one um, and you'll be all alone. And even the best uh, forces, special forces, police officers, whomever it is, always call for backup, right? They always use their radio, their, their communications to call for help. And so um, if it's just about le letting people know where you are, uh, just about making sure people know your, your, your position, giving them a heads up of when they expect you coming back, I think communications are critical. Um, obviously, you know, our number one communication device is our cell phone, but if you're out in the back country somewhere, you can try a sat phone. Um, you know, you can pair it up nicely with one of those smart watches we talked about earlier, and you can have a nice little communication loop that's easy to use, easy to access, um, and so people always know where you are, and they always kind of have an idea of what to expect. Uh, 
it's nice again even if you're out hiking or where you don't have traditional cell service again you know they've got these tools like these Garmin in reaches uh, things of that nature that allow you to uh, send a signal or send a pretext message or something to that effect but just stay in communication and so um, I have got to say the number one EDC thing the number one thing I use every day that I, I rely on is my communication device so coming in at number one uh, you got to make sure you keep those comms up and that's what's number one on the EDC list all right once again thanks for watching please subscribe like and comment below uh, if you got a difference of opinion or want to add something feel free to uh, leave a comment and we'll talk about it below uh, but I appreciate it and I am Poppy Maximus and I am out